Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to Fingers Valley in Transport Fever 2. Okay, since last time I've gone through and I've uh, fixed the uh, towns so that they're not all going to jump up to all six cargo types immediately. Um, that uh, is, uh, uh, that should, at least if I understood the uh, sandbox mod editor settings correctly, uh, so that should be fixed. Uh, so hopefully, um, yeah. Uh, so I found out what, what happened is uh, uh, at some point when the game was loaded or something like that, it set the towns to all cargos active instead of uh, leaving them uh, as they were uh, with a list in the order they would appear. Uh, yeah, so I've gone through and now um, I think what's what happened as a result is they've all set back to one of three uh, default combinations and uh, I'm going to leave it that way. Uh, uh, yeah, it just uh, it, it was too much uh, fiddling to go and uh, change anything else. Where Where's my OK? Here's my uh, operation over here at Cleveland. Now, uh, over here, we've got so many uh, passengers that I think it might behoove us to add a third train on this line. Yeah, maybe. No, we don't have enough over here, though. Right, um, I was talking about commuter lines. Uh, right, so what would be the commuter line here? That is a question, isn't it? Um, what I could do, I could actually... Oh. I could uh, configure this to... Um, I'm going to probably need uh, extra tracks here. And I've got the uh, income to support it. So let's just uh, put that in. Um, we'll put these in. Yeah. And um, eh, just for symmetry, I'll put the roof in. And then uh, passenger building. Um, is that a, a small one? Yeah. Yeah, I could put a passenger. Eh, we'll just make it symmetrical, right? Yeah. Um, then I uh, could run a uh, road across there. Between here, I think. There and there. Um, a road. Between there and... Hmm. Yeah, that's a node and that's a node. But it doesn't reach that. Okay. No. Well, first of all, I'm going to want a road here. Yeah. Um, ah. Yeah. Okay. That is, in fact, uh, where the road will want to be. Uh, right. Well, I can do this. And then I can do this. Okay. Now, um, yeah, okay, put the road there, um, uh, this one is doing a thing, uh, this one, and I'll just, uh, cross that one, uh, connect that one, okay, so, Oh, I can also connect this one. Okay. Now, what can I do here? Well, I could do something. Oh, yeah, that is absolutely brilliantly, uh, um, uh, you, you know, deduced that you can do something. Um, kill that. Uh, okay. Um, 
what do I uh, what do I think would be the the way to uh, connect this? Hmm. Well, uh, you can do weird stuff like this. Uh, <laughs> uh, but no, I'm not going to do that. Um, I wonder if I go in here and I take a large building, uh, it doesn't fit. A medium building doesn't get out to the road. Okay. Well, clearly that is not the solution. Okay. Well, what are you going to do? You know, I don't know. Um, right. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Well, I can bring that out to there uh, for sure. Yeah. Okay. Right. So if I were to get this connected here, what if I put, no, uh, if I put a road in there, ah, that doesn't get much, uh, much more. Okay. Don't do that. Uh, right. Let the town fill in the roads. Now, what am I going to do? Well, I suppose I would need a stop at the station and or near the station hmm go from here huh hmm i i kind of want to catch up catch them over here um hmm so a stop here, a stop here, and a stop here, and then across. Let's uh, let's just uh, investigate that uh, that option. So if I put a stop here, uh, and I put a stop here, yeah, and I put a stop down here, that gets most of that. And if I put a stop here, they connect. And I could put one here. Yeah. And I could put one here. I could do that. Okay. And tools. I think I want to use trams. So, so we'll upgrade with trams. Don't upgrade, then unupgrade. Um, yeah, just upgrade the part you need. I held shift to do that, by the way. Uh, okay, run a tram this way. Yeah. Oh, up here. Um, I want to move that down one. Yeah. Um, building. I want to put it here. Yeah, I want to put it there. Okay. Now, I need a depot. Yeah, yeah, I do need a depot. Where am I going to put a depot? You could put it over here. I could. I, I could definitely put it over there. Okay, and then put it over there. Uh, no. no. Use the... The thing. The thing. I, I see. We're being articulate today. Uh, why are you doing it that way? Well, uh, the reason I'm doing it this way is... Uh, tram track. Yeah. Player ownership also on that piece. Okay. And keep. Okay. Okay. Uh, the reason I'm doing that is then I'll be guaranteed not to have a traffic light there. And I don't want a traffic light there uh, when traffic lights arrive. Okay, so I can do that. Now, what's this? Yeah, okay. So now I can buy 
a tram. Uh, so this one, six, five, five, so we want the horse-drawn streetcar. Yeah, it moves faster as well, okay. Now I want six of them, three for each line. Now that's fairly arbitrary, so buy them, okay. New line. Um, okay, and back. Yep, okay, and this is, where are we? Erie. So this is uh, Erie, and it is the... Um, longitudinal. That's a $5 word, isn't it? Okay. And uh, go back to here. Yeah. Make a line on those. Here, 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 and back. And this will be the Erie Crosstown. Okay. Well, that's going to move some uh, passengers around. Um, that seems like it might be useful. Right. So we have commuting services there. Now here, uh, we need basically the same setup here here and over here yeah and then the other way okay well let's do that shall we uh, building grab that uh, we need here yeah here yeah over here yeah and probably want here yeah and probably here. Yeah. And probably here. Right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, that, I think, will do. Uh, we're going to want one of these, which I will put up here. Right. Uh, right here, yeah. Street, yes and yes. Connect, yes. Okay, keep. Tools, yeah. Run uh, the tram stuff uh, down here. Like that. No, I don't do that. Press the wrong button. Uh, here, across to here. Yep, and we're going to use the same six trams. Uh, right, six. Good, uh, and we'll do that again. Uh, new line, here, here, come on, here, here, and back. Okay, and this is the Cleveland longitudinal yeah uh, and then we come up here uh, get these three new line uh, and then we go here here and here right and this will be the Cleveland crosstown yeah okay uh, well that will get more uh, more coming here. Uh, do I want another train? Yeah, I think I want another train on here as opposed to bigger trains. Manage vehicle, duplicate. Yeah, okay. Uh, so we'll put uh, a third train on that line. Good. Now, how many people are here? Lots. How many people are here? Too many. I think I might want... Okay, that's three trains. Um, okay, uh, what's the frequency? Seven. Okay, I think I want 
I want one more. Manage vehicle. Duplicate. Um, five minutes. Yeah, okay, five minutes seems like it's uh, a fast enough uh, uh, thing going on. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, might want to turn off some of that visual noise. Yeah, I might. Probably not going to, though. Okay. So, what I want to do, I want to actually... Where is the... Oh, just passing the... Uh, passing the signal. Okay. Here we go. Okay, we're coming from Escondido to uh, Cleveland. We're heading for Cleveland Central, which is actually an okay name for it. So uh, we'll keep it right. Um, so we're coming empty uh, across the scrubland. Yeah. Um, I might and now uh, for future expansions here. Um, I'll probably end up with a uh, stronger loco and larger passenger cars. Okay, into Cleveland. Um, okay, we have lots of uh, passengers. We're gonna we're gonna take a full load out of here, are we? Okay, well, I definitely need longer trains. Oh, we're waiting. We were waiting for the train ahead of us to clear a signal, right? Yeah. Uh, okay. This is actually an okay crossing. Yeah. It's the one on the other side with the big hill, right? Okay. Well, coming out of the town here is okay. I should relay that bit of track there so it's flat coming out of there. Yeah, I really should. Um, yeah, not going to, though. I'm going to leave it alone. Uh, we can have Mankey track, you know. It's 1850. We can have Mankey everything. There's a train going the other way. Uh, right. Rock. Tree. Signal. No, that bit is not funny. Why do you keep doing that? Well, what else do you need to do when you're just uh, tooling through the semi-desert here? Well, you might have a point. Oh, that is a pretty uh, uh, big uh, hill thing going on there. Okay, we uh, take a full load out of here. Okay, we've definitely got a decent passenger volume here. And, yeah. Well, uh, I, think, uh, I think the line there is uh, going to do just fine. Let's just check in on here. Uh, we're going to sort by balance. Okay, so the... Uh, uh, Let's uh, sort the other way by balance. Okay, so uh, so our passenger line is making uh, a third of a million. So uh, well, half a million now. Uh, yeah. Well, it looks like it's going to be a good investment. Oh, something I want to do is uh, go in here. Um, um, yeah, let's turn off the uh, vehicle uh, location uh, icons. I'll leave the stations. Um, yeah, those. Um, yeah. How do we turn off the, 
cargo indicators. Um, hmm. Depots, bus, and tram stations. Um, uh, industries. Yeah, I'll leave the industries on. Um, stations. Ah, okay. Yeah, I just don't want the uh, icons for the vehicles uh, just uh, cluttering everything up. I might turn the uh, station ones off too. Um, right, so what have we got here? 64 going to Erie. We got a train coming. Okay. Well, uh, so far so good. Um, right. This is the bit that I was talking about relaying. Um, ooh, I really should. Eh, it's fine. Uh, I'm sure it will be fine. Uh, okay. Let's come back over to Erie and see what we've got going on here. Uh, 111. Oi! These are substantial towns. Okay. Um, right. Well, uh, I think, uh, I think what's probably, uh, the best, uh, next step. Well, is it though? You haven't said yet. Oh, right. Uh, the best next step is, oh, we have a tools, uh, uh, factory here um, okay uh, so we can bring ah I'm just gonna do that uh, right okay so we have another project here uh, we need a cargo station which will go here yep it will go here uh, on this angle, yeah. This is the Cleveland Tools Factory. Yeah. This will be the uh, Cleveland Tools Factory. Yes. Uh, good. Right. Okay. Um, it doesn't need to be that long. Um, okay. Okay. Take off the uh, extras. Okay. Um, right. Uh, well, how are you going to get a track into there? Well, can I get... I can get it over here. Yep. Can I... Oh, I can push the track through there. Good. Um, right. Just going to do that. And then we do this. And... Uh, do this and connect it. This is just going to be Q and D. Uh, so we grab the line here. Um, manage vehicles. Manage line. Cleveland to Cleveland. 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 Oi. Cleveland Forest number two. Forest Forest number two. Okay. And this is Cleveland Sawmill. Oh, neat. Cleveland Sawmill. Nice. Uh, let's... Um, I think that's an, a new uh, a thing at some point, being able to edit the names there. Um, okay, so from the sawmill, we add the tools factory. Yeah, okay. Uh, where's the train? The train is here. Well, let's let it run. Now it'll bring back some lumber to the tools factory. 
And then we can probably deliver... Yeah, I think this would be a truck delivery uh, into the uh, town. Yeah, it probably would be. Okay. Right. Let's ride this one. Uh, this will be the uh, the end of the episode, uh, riding this one. Uh, there, That's enough uh, fiddling around. Uh, that... Um, tools factory wasn't there uh initially that's one of the new uh industries to open up right uh right okay so we uh come in here we drop off uh, we drop off uh, uh wood now we're taking one uh one lumber with us boards whatever it is lumber uh, with us and we're going to go to the tools factory oh there's a train over a bridge yeah that bridge actually looks better now that i put a second track under it that's actually why i made that made that uh, gap as wide as i did uh, it was so that a second track could be under it and uh, around here we come up and we drop off all one of those. Yep. And away we go. Back to the main connection. I should double track that fully. But uh, I, I don't see the need to just at this point, right? We're only running one train on here. I double tracked the passenger line because I was pretty sure I was going to need multiple trains. Uh, but with one train on here, we should be fine. Yeah. Now, interestingly, with this uh, new uh, beta version, this is still the beta version. Uh, the full release is, should be out by the time uh, this episode goes up. But I'm recording these ahead of time. Uh, like I, I like to record these a little bit ahead so that uh, uh, I have a buffer, right? And uh, uh, by the time you're seeing this, I've probably been on uh, vacation and back. So... Uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, uh, it, with this new release, uh, there's a new difficulty level called Very Hard. Um, I tried it on this map uh, in mul with multiple configurations uh, based on the uh, starting conditions for this playthrough. And I couldn't get it to... Uh, I, I couldn't avoid bankruptcy in the, uh, in the uh, initial game. Uh, I just couldn't, and that was uh, that. That was well, really annoying, uh, because the uh, the 1850 trains just aren't strong enough to pull enough wagons to move enough cargo one way fast enough to uh, offset the fixed costs uh, and the uh, operating costs of the locos. Uh, so it absolutely needs uh, a two-way line like this one where you're taking at least half full or, or, or some amount back with you, uh, when, you uh, when you're going back to the source point. Uh, if this line was available uh, in, uh, it, it, right at the start with a, uh, you know, where, where we're taking back some, uh, you know, a second a secondary uh, uh, good uh, all the way back to the uh, almost all the way back to the source station then uh, I would have been able to uh, get the uh, the initial uh, line lines to break even and that would have made a big difference uh, but I but I wasn't able to get uh, to find any uh, lo any line that I could set up with the industry set that I started with on this map that I could get I just couldn't get any of it to to uh, uh, to coincide sufficiently to uh, allow making money 
uh, and I didn't want to cheese it by uh, uh, paying off the loan and letting it run for a little bit and uh, waiting for a, a useful industry to open. Uh, that would have been the option uh, to wait and see if a useful industry came up, uh, which uh, definitely uh, would, whoops, would have, uh, ah, uh, here we go. Cleveland just uh, leveled up, okay? Uh, and now uh, we have uh, just the, the four. So my fix uh, appears to have worked. And now we've got machines and uh, food uh, demand here. Uh, now let's grab the cargo layer. And you can see here, uh, we've got uh, buildings demanding uh, um, fuel and uh, buildings demanding machines, but not buildings demanding all, th all two of them. All two of them, both of them. Uh, right. Uh, and you can see we've got a food building and a, a tools building here. Right. So uh, that's uh, that's the way it's supposed to work. Uh, so uh, my fix with the sandbox mod appears to have been correct. Um, yeah. Good. Well, that is uh, definitely uh, a useful thing. Uh, just before I go. I'm going to check in on the lines and uh, take a look at this. Our uh, sawmill line is making good bank. Uh, our passenger line is making good bank. Uh, the other train lines are all positive. And three out of four local lines are also net positive. So, uh, Overall, if we check in here, uh, we have we have almost 12 million in the bank, and that uh, and we've got we're coming in a million plus positive on the railroad. Now I wonder if it's possible to change the uh, difficulty level up to very hard after you've started the game, um, but probably not. Uh, what I I want to see if uh, is it's possibly feasible to uh, create, uh, uh, to get a, a sufficient income going that I can put the vehicles on uh, a higher maintenance so that they never get old. Uh, I wonder how possible that is. Uh, that is a pretty substantial uh, town. Yeah. Well, uh, overall, uh, I think... Uh, I think we're doing okay. Uh, I want to mess around a little bit more in 1850, I think. Uh, but I might let time start advancing slowly uh, in the next episode. Uh, because uh, I think it's reasonable that a passenger line like this would have been created and uh, a delivery scheme. But the next project is delivering tools into here. And I'm not sure if that makes sense to do it with a train up to here. Well, it might. Um, turn on the cargo layer. Uh, turn that off. No, cargo. Um, no, it doesn't because we need to deliver it over here. Uh, okay. And it's close enough that uh, we can realistically use a uh, wagon line and uh, bring it up this way and drop it off around here, I think. Uh, just straighten the wagons out and uh, yeah, put the station here, maybe. Yeah, I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, I'll probably forget what I was going to do by the time I come back to record the next episode. So, uh, you know, you know, luck of the draw. Anyway, uh, the the whole thing is uh, is coming along, and uh, yeah, uh, that's uh, we're going to have a boatload of industries all over the place 
because I set it to uh, target very high industry density. That's intentional. Uh, I, they're, they, they make good obstacles and uh, uh, trying to connect everything uh, would be absolutely chaotic. And I think that would be absolutely brilliant. And I think uh, if, if I can get the game, uh, if we can progress the game over time to uh, later eras to the point where uh, semi-trucks are uh, in, uh, there will be a lot of good opportunities for trucking. And I kind of want to do a big trucking network, right? And you can see here with the modern trucks and modern roads, uh, there's uh, some good opportunities for uh, trucking. Uh, like steel from here to here or here to here, right? Those are good truck lines for modern trucks but they're too short for modern rail, right? Anyway, uh, that's going to be all for, for this episode. So like, comment, subscribe, you know the, the drill. Or you can dislike if you prefer. Uh, that is an option, and it won't, it won't hurt my feelings any. And then the bell. If you turn on the bell, then you can get some, uh, well, you can get some potential notifications of new videos. You might find that useful, or maybe you don't. But you don't have to turn the bell on either, you know, entirely up to you. And, well, see you back next time.